season. So um, in terms of the three first rounds, it was, yeah, no, I couldn't ask for better showing. Um, what did you think of uh, Ray and uh, Carlos despite uh, the batch of uh, Clayton and Jeremy's that went to the month? <laughs> well, yeah, no, you know, uh, I thought Carlos showed up and did his thing, and uh, but yeah, it just goes to show how tough Ray is. I mean, he just he just wore it and kept coming. You know what I mean? And so, um, talking to him and his team, there's a couple of things that didn't go go right in training, but no excuses. It is what it is, and I'm sure we'll see you know the Ray that we are used to uh, in second round, but. Again, my head off the calls. I thought he did a great job. And as for me, uh, what did you think of your stars, uh, Rory, Anthony, Pettis' performance, and uh, Taylor? Yeah, no, I, you know what? Um, I think uh, Anthony said it right in one of the interviews that when he came here from the UFC, you know, he just thought he was going to walk in and, and do this thing. And he said that thanks to the guys that he did fight and lost to, that it actually it made him work harder. And we just saw a different guy, you know, in the cage tonight. He was a lot sharper. Um, and he, you know, he just looked great. And so I think, um, you know, sometimes you got to take a step back to take four steps forward. You know what I mean? And I think that's what happened with, and, and worry, of course, he won one last year, lost one. Uh, but uh, again, he's another one that he looked great too. You know what I mean? And, um, it's, it's finally working for them because, you know, again, getting used to the system, to the, the format where they got to, to get to the championship, you got to fight back to back. Um, and so I think they understand it better now. And again, I was really happy for them. What do you think in the past, you're in the gym with uh, Jenna. What do you think in the past year has clicked in her mind to make her have a performance that she did tonight? Yeah, no, I, you know, Jenna, uh, with Jenna, we all, listen, I know she has all the skills. She has that talent. Uh, and sometimes... Uh, I think she has to hit a brick wall for it to come out, right? And, of course, I think the brick wall for her was struggling to try and make the weight. And, of course, then she had to come out. And what I said to her is, well, now you got to go out and, and you got to do your thing, right? Uh, because you don't want people talking about you missing weight. You want them talking about you winning. And she, I thought she did, she did great tonight. Right. There's a legend and an alert. Great event for me personally. This was one of the best uh, cars of the NFL. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, uh, AJ a few minutes uh, here, and he was talking about that he seemed more than a happy and available to do a PFL versus Bellator team in the future. Right. Is this something that uh, intrigues you all or feel that you that happy to do, knowing the Kayla situation and having like here. Right, right. Yeah, no, uh, listen, Scott Coker is a friend of mine. I've known Scott Coker for over 25, maybe 30 years now. Um, and, you know, Scott's done events with Ryzen and whatnot. And so for us, I think it's a matter of making it work for, you know, for Bellator and for PFL. Um, and then I don't, again, I don't see why that couldn't happen. But it's just it, it would have just take us to sit down and you know and discuss what uh, how we would go about doing that and um, and so hopefully that's you know in the near future. Uh, knowing how how big is getting PFL yeah. now, um, is there any ideas of uh, going into the Latin community or bringing more Latin fighters or expanding that area? Yeah, you know the Challenger Series has been a really good uh, uh, avenue for us. Because, or vehicle, should I say, uh, because, for example, Carlos Leal came through the, you know, the Challenger Series. And um, he won his first Challenger Series by flying me, won the, the bonus in that uh, event, and we bought him back the second time, and he won that again. So, and again, look at what he did tonight, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, 100%, we're, we're going to go worldwide. You know, for us, the PFL is, uh, I think, in terms of, um countries i think we're in about 160 countries around the world now and so there's there's some uh great news coming you know coming real soon in regards to uh the playoffs and whatnot and so i uh, look forward to that uh but yeah we're definitely expanding thank you ray um you mentioned earlier uh, a little bit about carlos and his journey in the challenger series uh, he had to win two fights uh, just to get to this moment uh, right obviously beats a defending champion what does that say in terms of 
how important the Challenger Series is for the PFL endeavors. Yeah, no, absolutely. The, obviously, the Challenger Series is very important because it allows us to vet fighters. It allows us to see, you know, um, guys who can make it into the season and also allows us to find young talent um, that we can build. You know what I mean? And so, uh, absolutely, the Challenger Series is definitely a must. And I think um, being that it was our first year this year, I think it, uh, it was a success. Thank you. Ray, Ray, how open are you to uh, – we've heard in the past you said you're open to cross-promoting with Bellator and – making matchups like Kayla and Cyborg. Right. Um, how how open are you to doing a card like that, bringing on AJ, and how feasible is that to happen this year or next? 100% is not going to be this year. Uh, that being said, yeah, no, we're very open. Like I said, Scott Coker is a good friend of mine. I've known him for about 30 years. Um, I, I And I think it's just a matter of sitting down with, with uh, his team and our team and, you know, work out whatever needs to be worked out. But it has to be right, you know, again, like I said, it has to be right for Bellator and for us. Um, and then, I'm, you know, again, I don't see why that couldn't happen. You know what I mean? What are, what are the biggest hurdles that would get in the way of that happening? Um, I don't see any hurdles, you know. And I, I think it would only – we won't know if there is hurdles until we sit down and check, right? And so um, – I don't see, like I said, uh, Scott Coger and I just talked last week. I mean, we were just texting back and forth as friends. Uh, we weren't talking business or anything else like that, but um, I just wished them uh, congratulations because they had a really good, successful event uh, prior to the Hawaii show as well as the Hawaii show. So, um, yeah, like I said, I, I don't see any obstacles in, in terms of sitting down and chatting, but you just you don't know until we do that, right? Right. Any updates on Magomed? Is he going to be in the other in the PFL tournament at all? Yeah, Magomed. Uh, Magomed's issue is uh, is his visa, uh, his P1 visa. Uh, obviously, you know, with this um, terrible war going on, that's kind of what actually you know um, caused problems for a lot of these guys for visas and whatnot. And not just you know, not just from out of. Uh, Russia, I mean, I mean, pretty much, you know, some of the uh, fighters that we try to get from Australia was also a problem. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's just one of those things where uh, it's just timing. And um, I, I see Margaret being in the second round of the of the uh, uh, regular season. Okay. And my last question for me, Anthony Pettis is a break tonight. He's right. really motivated and wants to avenge those losses. Right. Is that uh, anything that interests you to run those back for Anthony? Either Clay Pollard or Hosh? I mean, there'll, be, there'll still be great fights. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, uh, you know, I got to sit down with my, you know, uh, matchmaking team and, and figure out exactly what uh, what works, and, you know, we'll go from there. Thank you, Ray. Uh, is there anyone in line with the contender series, is there anyone in Texas that you guys have found or have an eye on that you think you're going to want to fight? In Texas? Yes. My God, that's um, I don't think we actually had a because uh, the, the the actual challenge series was uh, held in Orlando, uh, but I don't think we had a fighter from, out of Texas. Uh, I could be wrong, but um, I, I think if it did, I, I think it would stand. You know, I would remember. Um, but uh, without a doubt, there is fighters. You know, some good talent out of Texas. Um, it's just a matter of us. You know, uh, finding them from being young uh, talent or whoever becomes a free agent. Hey, Ray, congrats on another great card. And obviously, PFL is unique for doing the regular season and the playoff, which is great. And obviously, there's some challenges that come with that. So uh, one of the big things going around was just how Ray Cooper minus one for the weight miss, and right. kind of gets minus one in your way. Right. Um, some people were wondering if it was worth someone like that fighting and, and potentially taking some damage tonight. Is that something that you worry about it all with the way the system's set up or is that something that you, you know these guys are always going to be ready to get out there and fight? Well, you know, um, Ray is, I mean, there's a reason why he's, you know, he's a champion. Um, he's just a true warrior. Um, but for us is that once somebody, somebody misses weight, we look to the commission to see if they would allow that fight to happen. Once they allow it, then, you know, obviously we talk to also the doctors, uh, everybody, you know, uh, that's involved. And um, once they clear the fighter and the fighter wants to fight, then 
uh, the opportunity is theirs. Even with, so the minus one win or lose, is that something that is mainly just meant to deter weaknesses or is that something that, I mean, obviously it's a deterrent, but is that something that you guys factor into the fact where you don't want someone who keeps missing weight to be successful? Well, we want everybody to be successful, or, right? Or to, to see themselves but, in the playoffs. But at the same time, you know, there has to be consequences to, to what goes on. For example, you know, when you miss weight, you are going to lose, you know, a minus one point. And so um, it's just, you know, that's the way the, the format is set out. And, um, and I think it works. And so um, we'll just keep moving forward that way. 100%. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You know, in the sport, it's victories and infamous. Right. That's what the fans remember, the teams remember. Right. But hearing you speak about Pegasus right. and Jenna with the weight loss and missing weight and Clearly, it's the fighter's character that is being developed and being grown. Can you tell us about how important that is to you? Yeah, it really is because, you know, um, as a former fighter myself, and after having 110 pro fights, I truly understand what these guys go through, right? And everybody that makes it to the top or the top 10, you got to have a bit of character. you got to have a little bit of craziness. Um and of course, when you have people like um, Pettis and Maga and Ray and all those guys, um, they're guys not only with character, but at the same time, they're true warriors. You know what I mean? And so um, it's really important when those, uh, as a fighter, uh, you have all those elements because that's what allows you to continue to move forward to the championship.